Nobody should be anxious. We have to get it right. President Trump walks away from what could have been the deal of a lifetime, a letter to His Excellency Kim Jong-un terminating their planned summit, citing Kim's, quote, open hostility in a recent North Korean statement, a letter from Trump touting America's nuclear might, a letter that analysts say is extraordinary for its personal nature. It's unusual that the president would uh, use threats of nuclear weapons in a communication with the foreign counterpart. It's unusual that the president would uh, use uh, I and, and you and, and such personalization. But according to his biographers, not unusual for Donald Trump. They say the buildup to a summit, the tease, and then the walk back is classic Trump, a tactic he used to build his real estate empire. The president's art of the deal strategy has always been to first ask for the world and intend to settle for half of it and also be able to stake any position out uh, in the course of negotiations. So the notion of walking away is something that he's always advocated. He said that you should never enter a negotiation wanting something too much. For decades, Donald Trump has sold himself to potential business associates and then to voters on his ability to strike deals with difficult partners like Kim Jong-un. With deals, that's what I do, is deals. I make good deals. You know, it's a talent. It's a talent. You can't be a politician. Now, in his letter to Kim, Trump says he's pulling out because of the, quote, anger and open hostility in North Korea's most recent statement, where they'd called Vice President Pence a political dummy. Trump biographer Mike D'Antonio isn't buying that explanation. This, after all, is a situation where Trump himself has been insulted many times and he's traded barbs back. What we're really seeing here is the president seizing an opportunity to get out of a situation which I think he felt was not going his way. Another classic Trump move Hello. in deal breaking, a taunt. Trump tells Kim, quote, you talk about your nuclear capabilities, but ours are so massive and powerful that I pray to God they will never have to be used. Well, the taunting in the president's letter is one of those mine is bigger than yours moments. How do you think Kim Jong-un might react? Well, I think it raises the likelihood that Kim Jong-un will react by uh, resuming the verbal taunts that were so evident last fall. And uh, depending upon where things go from there, there is a higher risk that we could see a return of testing, uh, either missile testing or, or perhaps nuclear testing.